the 85x is down i started to notice the nozzle is heating up really slow i'm going to cover the qr code because tiktok doesn't like that but it's giving me the e0007 extruder t0 not heating as expected strange wording uh, i do not want my extruder to be heating up at all yeah they mean the hot end so if you are new to 3d printing and you ever have any sort of a problem most of the time the printer is going to show you a code that you can then google and it's going to pull up their their wiki page that's going to help you fix it and that is true for almost any printer apart from this piece of shit and as you can see here they're going to list all of the possible codes that the printer can give you and if you click on any of them it's going to take you to this specific errors problem section where they're going to show you possible causes and how to fix them and like with any other printer there is a possibility that one code could be thrown because of a couple of different issues and i could be wrong in this case but using my uh, gut feeling and i guess experience and seeing that the nozzle is heating up but very very slowly but the sock as you can see is definitely here i'm willing to bet a very small amount of money that the issue is going to be the heater assembly i got into the habit of keeping some spare parts on hand so yeah uh, let's have a look how easy or how hard it is to replace the heater on the 85x obviously unplug your printer before you start working on it so take this guy out tool head cable just two screws i'm gonna try not to lose them oh that's actually usb-c by the way okay i'm guessing we're going to have to get to the board itself so we're going to have to unplug the fan the heater assembly there we go okay so it looks like we do have to remove the whole fan actually looks like it's just one screw that's impossible yeah no, there's one more somewhere there it is it's not the side so if you ever have to replace this one that's fairly easy i'm going to remove the nozzle okay now it looks like i do not have to remove this just to get to the heater itself no idea if i filmed this correctly because i just realized i moved the camera while unscrewing but there's the assembly out i'm guessing you can buy just the heater itself and then uh, swap it into the body but this one is complete so that's going to make it much quicker let's get it back in i should have lowered the bed before i started working on this now i don't have a lot of space but yeah if you are planning to replace yours just lower the bed a little bit and trying to film stuff at the same time is always really awkward Okay, I am going to remove this one, just because I don't have a lot of space here. Much easier like this. Okay, okay, now I can come back with the nozzle holder. What was next? I believe it was the fan. Let's see. Okay, we are back in business. That was fairly easy. Hopefully it will last another at least five, 600 hours. Without filming and lowering the bed beforehand, it is probably 10, 15 minute job stop, so not too bad. 